go back to a mini challenge and then follow up with. Again, this is, this is a very traditional model, but it's worth being reflective about as we sit and think about new ways to support this kind of endeavor. <clears throat> so on the last point, the, uh, the mini challenge has had more specific or direct questions that allowed us to enter the data with maybe a hint or a starting point and explore from there out. And then these were used to, to drive the whole investigation. So again, reflecting back, we had a starting point, which was very helpful and really affected the rest of the analysis. <clears throat> Slide's a little busy, but bear with me. The, the point we're trying to make here is that we tried to focus around what the analyst and the exploratory process um, needed to move forward. So you see here that the, the particular improvised visualizations were key and the analyst could enter those to explore specific data sets. And within this model, I've represented the structured data that was actually provided by the contest team, which each structured data component being addressed specifically by these customized tools. So this contrasts with maybe a more generalized approach where you would aim to have a single tool for all cases. Um, having said that, it was the improvised back end that gave us the flexibility to dynamically create these custom tools quickly and also to modify them. So we weren't necessarily tied to specific widgets or specific visualization components. So I think it, it would be better said that we could utilize the atomic visualization elements that have been developed over time and then toss them into these customized tools. We see here also that 